This is James. Like every other morning, he's taking the bus to get to work. James is a project manager, and he loves everything about his job. James is key to his company's success. But lately, he's overwhelmed with undefined objectives and pushback deadlines. You see, he has to meet the new requirements of a constantly changing market. The stakeholders are anxious for the results, and to deliver, he has to work extra hours to refine the objectives. Time is working against him, and James finds himself in a constant loop to keep everyone aligned and satisfied. Until one day, during a break outside of the office building, a colleague mentioned Agile. Hey James, I understand where you're coming from. We were pretty disorganized and cluttered ourselves until we switched to Agile. Agile? Yeah, so basically what you do is break down the workload into one to four week deliverables called sprints. And with the daily standups, everyone is fully aligned with what the objectives and responsibilities are. On the way back home that same day, James Googled Agile. That's it, he thought. He discovered by implementing Agile, he'd be able to manage changing priorities, increase team productivity, and improve project visibility. With the help of trainers, James attended online courses with his colleagues to get everyone on board. He joined mentor sessions with industry leaders to learn how to apply Agile in order to respond to his customers' needs. Finally, he got all the pieces together. He realized that the highest priority is to satisfy the customer through early and continuous delivery by receiving regular feedback on products by stakeholders. This allowed him to break down the workload into smaller deliverables, finish each sprint with a shippable product. He learned in Agile, the main focus is built around motivated individuals who are given the support and trust to get the job done. That's how we improve the company culture and created a better working environment. And he learned how to respond to change. By improving the feedback loop, he gets clients to features they want, faster and with greater accuracy. James learned new things that altered his direction, even later in the development process. Here's his tips for your Agile success. To understand where Agile works and where it doesn't, you can use Agile some of the time and some Agile all of the time. To practice Agile, start at the top. The best way to do this is with results. Implement Agile frameworks and let them see how the change improves team efficiency. Give yourself and your team time to organically adjust to this new framework. It might sound simple, but you and your team need to collaborate closely with your Scrum Master and get used to the Scrum artifacts. At the end, James was able to adopt Agile practices and successfully implement those structures that serve his team and business objectives. But most importantly, he managed to lead a motivated team who all felt an integral part of the decision-making process. James had finally reached success. How are you becoming Agile? Learn more at IIL.com.